Hi you guys, welcome to your reading. I am outside today. So um yeah, just want to check in with you guys today. Timestamps will be in the description box and I'll try to get them to the comment section as well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising sign. And I hope the reading resonates with you. I'll see you at your reading. Let's start with Aries at 21 seconds. Aries, hi. We're gonna get three cards for your energy right now. We already have two wanting to come out. We have the five of swords. Okay, I saw that in the pre-shuffle. And we have the three of cups. Okay, Aries. Starting off the day. <laughs> Let's get one more card for Aries. We have one more card for Aries. We have the hangman, Pisces energy. And the seven of swords on the back of the deck. What's going on, Aries? What's going on? I'm going to try to just breathe because i'm getting a lot to like i feel i don't feel good i feel anxious I, I don't i feel like i can't breathe so breathe with me aries i don't know if that's you feeling that probably or that's just how the energy is around you right now okay so i need a second to breathe you need to take a second to like breathe the five of swords energy talks about conflict with others right this could be inner conflict as well but um i do feel like you are dealing with other people we have the three of cups here as well i really need to i feel like mindful breathing is really going to help you aries because i know this is not my energy that i'm picking up on so the five of swords it's about like it's it's about like wanting the upper hand you know wanting the upper hand in some type of um co uh, conversation argument or dialogue you know, and it talks about also realizing that, you know, you don't really have to, you know, it's not all about, it's not about what you say, but how you say it. You can choose, you choose how you express yourself. And the Five of Swords energy is never really, you know, it depends on the other cards that are, you know, out. But with this here, you know, like, it's never really a good energy to be in. And um, I just feel like it was unnecessary. Whatever someone said, like it was not necessary. Or I feel like you could be finding out some type of information, Aries. There's some Pisces energy here. You could be finding some type of information like I don't know if this is love related but like maybe someone went out and they said they weren't going to go out or let's should we clarify I don't really want to clarify <laughs> I don't really want to clarify kind of just want to keep it to I feel like the the three cards that come out like these are the this is the base energy so it's really about like can i can i get the message with this three cards or maybe you had a you had some type of conflict with someone and then you went out to try to spite this person and now y'all are both in this hangman energy of reflection of realization of there's about to be some sort of shift here there's a pause, but then there's going to be a shift. But the Seven of Swords, everything is not on the table now. So, like, what's going to happen here? There's some sort, there's there's um, a lot of thoughts going on in your mind. In your mind or in, in, in also, I'm feeling like mutual energy and whoever else you're dealing with. And so you guys are, you know, realizing, you know, having awareness. Let's see what Oracle wants to come out for you, Aries. We have the desert, the castle, and the crone. And that, that crone is about having that awareness, having seen it all. And look, it's the number 13, which is about death. I'm telling you, a transformation is happening within you and within whatever relationship this is. We have the castle. This could be a lover. You know, this could be someone that you live with. And we have the desert. Um, it's, it's hot it's hot it's dark and hell it's hot but what is the desert about i've never i don't think i've ever pulled that card um 
yeah I feel like I mean that hand is coming out of this like place right here it's like save me <laughs> it's too hot here it might be too hot but what you learn through that heat is what's um, you know uh, initiating the transformation right let's see what this desert is about real quick we have the desert, the drought, the wasteland, the bad land. So desert leaves us disoriented, desperate for direction, grasping for meaning, longing for solid ground. For endless miles, we are confronted with the lack of clarity and existential dread. We are thirsty, hungry, pleading with life to get back to normal, to become animated by the simple pleasantries of day-to-day -day life. Um, the desert offers no such comfort and all must pass through it. If you can embrace the discomfort of the desert, knowing you will someday reach water again, you can tap into the potent energy of the landscape. Its lights are blindingly bright and its darks terrifyingly deep, which makes for unbridled creativity and clairvoyant visions. Truths reside in the desert that otherwise remain hidden. The crows, the shadows, and the coyotes call surround you. Let the winds and sands work their deep magic, weary traveler. When this energy is light, it's surreal, strange, unexpected visions, and silence. When it's dark, it's drying, um, deadening, and disorienting, and isolating. Okay? So I'm going to move on to the next sign, Aries. Um, I hope that resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you. Alright, Taurus. What's popping? I'm going to clear these cards out shuffle a couple of times and see what's going on with you i hope you guys are doing well tell me about taurus sun moon and rising please i saw the empress that's your energy big empress the energy is talking about expansion birth okay harvest good things abundance yes ma'am tell me about taurus sun moon and rising please Tell me about Taurus. Give me three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Three cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. We have the Ace of Cups, Taurus. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> someone's in love with you or are you in love is this you oh my gosh this is a divine love we have the king of swords do you have air in your chart or are you dealing with an air sign gemini gemini energy here also libra and aquarius and then i have the four of pentacles taurus okay so this is all minor arcana so things are uh probably gonna shift you know pretty quickly but this is what we have today this is the current energy today you know, the six of swords on the back of the deck so i see you going to you know this is good you've gotten to a more ooh, oops 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 why am i not why is the camera not even on the cards sorry about that um i feel like this energy is new you you're going to like this is a new energy you've gotten to um calmer waters you've gone to a more peaceful time in your life Yes, this Ace of Cups. It's like you, this could be new love. This could be new love. This could be a new sense, just a new sense of self, a new love for yourself. You started filling your cup and you're feeling good. The King of Swords, I am kind of picking up on another energy with this King of Swords, but um, whether this is, uh, if this is someone else, they're like holding back how they feel about you. Okay, they're, they're keeping their feelings and their cards very close to their chest. Um, Give me one on this King of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. So this could be someone that, you know, you have fun with, you have a good time with. It could be someone that you're dating. Um... I don't know how I feel about this Three of Cups. Tell me about this Three of Cups. We have the Magician. It's getting tricky. <laughs> I don't I don't know, dude. I don't know. The, the Magician clarifying the Three of Cups. Something that you 
manifested okay so this could just be i just i'm just always suspicious of the three of cups but let's not be let's say it's good it's all good so this could just be someone that you're dating you have a good time with and maybe even you Taurus or someone who doesn't mind dating me I don't know how to date I don't want to be dating multiple types of people but you know this could just be someone that you're dating um, I do feel like you're on their mind um, if this is if this king of swords is you though um, I feel like you are maybe thinking about um, some type of money move um, you're thinking about like your home um, thinking about having more fun you know I feel like you're wanting to have more fun you're ready to have more fun you might be wanting to go out um, tell me about this four of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've saved. I feel like you've um, been working on your finances. And it's time for you to have fun. It's time for you to go out. It's time you, yeah, it's time for you to date if you want to, you know? It's time to let loose a little bit. It's, yeah. <laughs> Give me a card for Taurus. Give me an oracle for Taurus. We have the vow coming out and the pilgrim. The pilgrim talks about traveling and, you know, like learning new things on the way and the essence of that journey and that voyage and the vow is like your word. Um, you know, I feel like there's a dream that you have and I feel like it, this is a time for you to actually like fulfill that and pursue that. And we have Kairos, which is about time. You know, time is on your side and time is also... A lot of things but I feel like it's definitely on your side right now okay so that's what I have for you Taurus Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. One second. It's so hot outside. <coughs> <coughs> Give me three cards for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just took a hit. Three cards for Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Gemini. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure you can see the card. Let's see what else. King of Cups. Fixed energy. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. And yeah, the King of Cups, Pisces. 
Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Give me one more for... Um, give me one more for Gemini. We have the Nine of Cups. Wow, I love all of these cards. Let's see what's on the back. The Ace of Swords. Oof, there's, there's a breakthrough here. There's success here. There's fortune here. There's opportunity here. There's completion. There's fulfillment. There's happiness, joy, love. So much love here. There's so much love here. Something is coming in for you that you wanted, that you've desired, that you've worked for, that you've been manifesting, and it's coming in for you, Gemini. It's coming in for you. I do not know the specifics, but it's something that's so dear and close to your heart that's going to make you so happy. This is success and victory and truth, clarity. Things are finally balancing out for you. The tables have finally turned for you. It's time. It's your time. It's finally Gemini's time. Future card, Wheel of Fortune. The, the the tables are turning in your favor. A fortunate event is happening. And then we have the King of Cups. Something that has already happened. Has Like you feel right now on top of the world. You feel this Pisces energy. Everything. You're feeling it all. You feel so good. And it's important to maintain that. It's important to sustain that. And with the Nine of Cups, you feeling so good. It's just attracting more goodness into your life. You, you feeling good that positive energy that you're feeling and that you 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 get what you give and so you're you're uh you're giving positive energy so that's what you're getting you're getting something that that you're you've manifested here with this nine of cups should i clarify let's clarify the nine of cups for uh gemini please and we have the seven of cups um, this is options. I don't exactly, like I said, I don't exactly know because it's different for all of you. But something is coming in that you've dreamed of. It's like, it's like, it's like you're kind of playing with your manifestations here. It's like you kind of like just playing with it. Like, okay, can I manifest this? Can I? Show me how good it can get. God, show me how good it can get. You're just uh, an abundance of love right now, and that's what you're receiving. We have the king wanting to show its face. That's clarifying uh, confirmation on that king of cups. So that you could be a masculine energy for sure watching this. Um, or... You're just really balancing out your masculine energy. And this is like big boss, big dick energy. No one's fucking with you. You know, this is your kingdom. This is your world. Other people are just living in it. You know, this is the father. This is that safety. That comfort, that fun, that joy. That hard work that forward motion the doing okay i'm getting good good like sexual energy you might have like good sex coming towards you gemini um but i'm gonna leave you with that my love
Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna get three cards for you. I need a shuffle real quick. Give me three cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Seven of Cups wanting to show its face. Options. Uh, options. Not all options are the right options. It's mastering that. Mastering that discernment. Ten of Swords. Judgment. Oof. Tell me about cancer. Three cards for cancer. We have the six of swords. We have the ace of pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, 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 okay. But we do have the tower on the back of the deck. So some things are changing. Okay, some things are definitely shifting for you or everything or a lot is shifting for you, um, Cancer, but you're going to a better place. And you know that, you know that. Okay, you've been manifesting, you know, you've been living in alignment. And so what's no longer serving you has to go. And this is a case where you know, you were giving attention and time to things that, you know, weren't weren't solid for you. They they weren't built on a solid foundation. So those things are moving away from and we're going towards, you know, this uh this golden opportunity here. We're going towards something that is stable. We're going towards something that you can attain and grow and water and build a, a healthy solid foundation that you can build an empire on with this ace of pentacles and in the future you're going to be very emotionally satisfied fulfilled happy happy dealing with your emotions in a healthy way a lot of love to give tell me about this queen of cups we have the magician i feel like you're manifesting um peace within yourself I feel like you're manifesting, you know, how can I have more emotional intelligence? How can I balance out my emotions more? How can I control my emotions? How can I master my emotions? So that's what's happening for you, Cancer, okay? And this is your energy, you know, feeling more at home, feeling more in your own skin here in the future because you've attracted something solid because you have this new opportunity that you can um you know work on now you have this money that can sustain you now We have the mystic, okay? So I'm seeing you're very intuitive. You're connected to the divine, okay? Yeah, that queen of cups is going to heighten your psychic abilities and your intuition. So you're really gonna be tapping into that in the future, tapping into um, your psych, tapping into your abilities with spirit, getting psychic downloads, feeling more in tune. We have the lover on the back of the deck. Okay, so I do see you connecting with the lover because you have now learned to love yourself. 
a lover is coming into your life you're manifesting it you're manifesting it you're manifesting you're manifesting cancer love to see it i'm sending you all the abundance and good energy um i hope this resonated with you bye hi leo welcome to your reading this is going to be for you what card came out here the nine of swords are you stressed overthinking overthinking to the point that you can't sleep you haven't been sleeping well is that you or no i'm just gonna tuck that back into the deck and keep shuffling and i'm gonna get three cards for my leo babies sun moon and rising tell me about leo sun moon and rising can you give me three cards for leo sun moon and rising please We have the nine of wands the six of wands the ten of swords and the three of wands so a lot of your energy is here leo you got a lot of fire and we have the king of wands on the back of the deck wow okay leo um nine of wands is someone who's guarded someone who's been through a lot Okay, like put in a lot of work and we're tired here. We need to get rest. We're guarded. I'm um, having our boundaries set. Um, but this is someone who's protective of what they've created. It also talks about not giving up, needing to, you know, keep going. Needing to persist through because you are um, going to have some type of victory here there's going to be some type of success some type of recognition and reward um there's a lot of people that support you and back you there's something that you're doing here something that you're creating something that you're attracting and manifesting um don't let other people don't let other people's negativity bring you down you are the sun you are the heart you are the source of life I see you in this three of wands energy in the future being kind of at a pause, waiting patiently for your ships to come in. Waiting patiently for your ships to come in. The three of wands is, is about expansion and growth. You've made it. You've made it. There's a plethora of opportunities coming in for you. It's about ha be having patience here. It's about persistence here. And it's about... um not paying attention to the naysayers not paying attention to any negativity to any um other of other people's negative projections they can't do it it doesn't have anything with what you can or cannot do okay let's get an oracle for leo please give me an oracle for leo you, you are in this powerful royal energy. Uh, you are in this king energy. Mm. You definitely have money coming in. Um, something attainable that you can grab. Again, success and reward is coming in for you. Um, you might have some like uh, temptation. Um, you might have some temptation um, coming towards you. I see you having a home, having a palace. You know, marrying, having a family, living in a castle. Okay. Gnosis. What does that mean? This is an initiation into what? I'm getting my book here. This is the innermost knowing and mystic truth. Okay. It says true knowledge is not found in facts and figures and scholarly books on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to the deep in timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses those who are drawn to gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies likely involving mysticism alchemy and healing or perhaps science knowing is our calling not knowing is our job description no matter how far the alchemists take their studies they come to the ultimate conclusion that fact that facts slip toward mystery and soon the mystery results in facts this card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. 
Once you experience it, you are forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way available to you. When this energy is light, it's contemplating the mystery and unanswerable questions. When dark, it's over-intellectualizing and literalizing, asking others, okay? Okay, love that. Very deep, very deep energy. I hope I um, like read that in a way that you could understand because I didn't really understand. <laughs> but, um, you know, like when you read something and then you have to like reread it because like you're just like lost. But yeah. Anyway, I, Leo, I hope that resonated with you and I'm going to move on to the next sign. Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna get three cards for you. First I'm gonna shuffle. Give me three cards for Virgo, please. Give me three cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Give me three cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. So we do have the Tower and the Six of Swords coming out. Um, something may have happened like in the recent energy, um, especially because we just had a full moon. But anything that's like um, anything that wasn't built on a solid foundation, a relationship, a habit, a schedule, a routine, anything that wasn't built on a solid foundation, um, you're moving away from that. You're moving towards. A more peaceful place and we have the ace of swords you're moving towards truth clarity success uh, achievement a uh, victory um, but I love the ace of swords I love the ace of swords there, there, there is this underlying sense of sadness though with the five of cups but we have the Sun under that okay I feel like this is a matter of perspective shift um, how you're looking at the situation is going to be how good you feel about it um but with the sun you know i feel like um you know everything happens for a reason and um you choose to be happy you choose to be happy so you, you can either cry over spilled milk here or bask in the sun and enjoy your life with this new truth and be happy because there's a new start coming towards you new money new opportunities um yeah, communication, healthy, healthy, unattachment, love coming in for you. Good things are coming in for you, Virgo, okay? Trust your process. We have the river, and we also have the shaman coming out. That shaman card is definitely, um, you're needing to, you're really getting a reflection of yourself here, a reflection of what you want. Um, you're needing to flow like a river or being by a body of water, Virgo, if you're able, is going to help you. Even putting on like oceans on your computer could just help your vibe. Um, um, this shaman card though, this is speaking to me. So I want to um, read what it says out of the book here. Okay, we have the shaman, the magi, the sorcerer, the medicine woman. Three archetypal ingredients constitute the shaman and all must be present in order to reveal its magic. First, the shaman is activated by long-standing and diligent study, the mentor. Second, its orientation is generously and accurately aimed toward the healing of the self. 
the other and the culture, the healer. And third, the shaman has a knack for finding doorways to the other world, allowing psychic visions and old magic to leak into this world, the unseen. In this way, the shaman is a master who bridges the everyday and the sacred, revealing potent power needed desperately in our time. Yet where this... The, Yet where there is power, there is shadow. So the shaman must be vigilant in studying their darkness. This card reminds us that the force of healing is ultimately not our own. We must shape it and share it with the world. When light, it's fearless. It's a fearless student energy and a practitioner. When dark, it overpromises, blames, and hurts self and others. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Hi, Libra. Welcome. I'm going to get three cards for you right now. So tell me about Libra. I'm just shuffling. Tell me about Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Give me three cards for Libra. We have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So, Pisces energy here. I feel like this is different energy that I've been picking up on all day but the page of cups so there's no air energy here we have earth and we have water okay do you have Pisces in your chart Libra page of cups yeah it's Pisces energy who is this someone that has you know a lot of passion a lot of love someone who's eager someone who's sensitive someone who's intuitive Someone who's connected to spirit, okay, has psychic abilities here. And this person, you know, this person, I feel like they have a lot more than they show. I feel like this person is hiding their feelings or hiding their finances, how much finances they have. I feel like you're this knight of pentacles. You're like, okay, dude, cool. I'm going to take what you're giving me and I'm going to move forward. I, I don't know if this is a lover or like something something to do with work. I feel like clarifying the situation here because... Let's leave this knight of pentacles here. See? You're cutting off someone. Let's clarify this page of cups. Who is this page of cups for Libra? So we have the ten of pentacles and the six of swords coming out. This is someone that you're really close to that's in your family. Or this is um, something in your career, in your job. But I feel like you are... I feel like someone could be apologizing about something. That could be this page of cups. Um, you're moving on. There's this essence of you moving on to something else. So moving away from something. Moving on to, you know, like starting a new business. Having a new opportunity here. Maybe changing jobs. Uh, okay, maybe this is you changing jobs here. Moving away from a current job. Tell me about the high priestess. Is the king of swords. Okay, there's something that you know that you're having intuition about that there's just an all-knowing energy here, okay? Um, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups, Four of Swords. I feel like you could be changing jobs, Libra. Changing jobs, going towards something more 
um, going towards maybe self-employment or something that's more in alignment. We are going towards whatever is in alignment with you. And this is a drastic change that's happening for you, but you're going to be successful. Keep following, keep being practical, um, keep, uh, you know, planning, keep um, being consistent with yourself, keep planting the seeds, keep moving forward. There's an essence of travel here, Libra. Um, you could be traveling here for work. You are being guided, but there, this is energy of needing to move forward because you need to, um, like, you're worth a lot. Um, so you need to make sure that you are getting paid that and that you're living in your self-worth. Let's get a oracle for Libra. Your finances are going to start to balance out, Libra. And we have the bridge. Ooh, we also have the warrior coming out. Okay. I feel like you're going towards success, you know? You've pushed through. You've pushed through, you've been through a lot, and now you're about to cross the bridge to success. That's what I have for you, Libra. I'm going to move on to the next sign. Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna shuffle a little bit and do your reading. Scorpio, yesterday, if you watch your reading yesterday that I posted yesterday, um, I freaking forgot to tell you that like the miracle that was coming for you guys is like, there's like a huge blessing coming for you guys and I just like got the message to like remind you guys that there's a huge blessing coming in for you guys and it's deeply to do with like you stepping into your fullness and deeply to do with your heart chakra deep healing um and connecting to your soul okay loving yourself and in turn that's manifesting love for you okay give me three cards for scorpio give me three cards for scorpio please We have Sagittarius energy, temperance. We have eight of wands, okay, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about Scorpio. Give me one more card for Scorpio. We have the seven of swords. Um, I feel like you're gonna find out who's jealous, jealous of you. You're gonna find out uh, any bad energy that's being like geared towards you. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords because you're having a lot of blessings and opportunities come your way. And you've been patient. You've been doing amazing. You've been doing the right thing. You've been so patient, so diligent. You've been, you know, transmuting energy. You've been really doing the self work. And so you're gaining intellect. You're gaining status. Um, you're gaining a divine insight you're really connecting to again your soul here and things are being um brought to the light here everything's going to be anything that you had questions about is going to be revealed here messages messages for from people maybe that you have blocked okay 
or um, maybe money, okay, money or opportunities that uh, maybe were blocked before for some reason, but now they're coming towards you, all right? Scorpio, give me an oracle for Scorpio, please. We have the queen and we have the ring. Oh, wow, Scorpio. You guys could be getting married, that's the energy. Um, you guys could, again, be raising your status, okay? Um, raising your status, becoming, you know, a beautiful being of light, okay? Diamond light, okay, gold energy. Um, this is crystalline, oof. Look, the lover on the back of the deck. I definitely see a love, a divine love, a soul. You're calling in a lover here. I said it, and it's confirmed. Okay. Um, either because we have the King of Swords here, air energy. Um, well, we have the Queen here. So I feel like this is you, the Queen, Divine Feminine. Um, but either way. So. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, raising your status. Your status. Your status. Your status is rising. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. I'm going to shuffle a bit more and then I'm going to get three cards for you. Give me three cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. Ten of Wands. Got a lot of cards wanting to flip out. The devil. And the nine of cups. So the future card looks good looking good okay oh i see i see i see i see okay 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 so you're just really you're just uh working really really hard you're really dedicated here with this capricorn energy this devil energy you're working really hard but i feel like it's too hard like you don't need to i feel like but then again you're happy though your future card is happy so maybe whatever you're whatever you're um trying to manifest it's requiring you it, it, it will require you to put in a lot of work and you put in that work and now you're really maintaining that you're really um being really so uh fixated and dedicated um really taking um the time and the steps um to create whatever it is that you're wanting You're taking the practical steps to get what you want and I see your manifestation coming through. I see it. I don't know what it exactly is that you're working on, um, but this has the ability to, it's going to be very successful. It's going to be very successful, um, Sagittarius. So you need to know that if you're working really hard on something and really, you know, having that business, um, that business mindset about something um it is going to be successful for you 
we have the chariot which is all about success achievement victory so because you've been self-discipline and a forward movement okay that's confirmation that's cancer energy right there let's see give me an oracle for sagittarius please give me an oracle for sagittarius please We have the kiss. Wow. Wow. Your life is like chef's kiss. A divine kiss. A divine love. A divine love. I see a divine love coming in for you. If that's a separate message or if that's what you, some of you are manifesting. Double confirmation or this is a separate message. But I just see like a union. A divine union with whatever you've been working on. This is it. This is it. It's going to give you a satisfaction and a happiness and a fulfillment that you've never had before. It's confirming the sign of cups. Like, you're going to feel so happy. You, like, you know whenever you kiss someone and you just feel good, you just feel happy, you just feel loved. That's how you're going to feel because you've achieved something. Because you've manifested something that you've worked so hard to get. Woo! Sag. Big Daddy Sag. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. <coughs> I love you guys. Thank you. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna get three cards for you. I'm just shuffling for a second and then I'm gonna see what's going on with you. Tell me about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Give me three cards for Capricorn. We have the Knight of Swords, Capricorn. The Seven of Swords has been coming out today. That full moon is not playing. It didn't play. It didn't. And the Seven of Wands. So we have 77 here. That number could be significant to you. Don't mind my foot. And we have the Page of Wands on the back. Okay. So Capricorn, so uh, I have fire energy. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Um, I see communication coming in from like a possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I see everything like being laid out on the table. I'm not feeling that great. The energy I'm picking up off this reading isn't great. So I feel like there's some communication that needs to be cleared out. I feel like uh, the result could be a block, block, okay, blocks on communication. Uh, communication i feel like someone's gonna be trying to communicate with you trying to offer you something trying to apologize trying to i don't fucking know kiss your ass but i don't i don't think you're having it because whatever the seven of swords is whatever they did whatever truth came to light um you're not fucking with it right now so that's what i'm having for you right now capricorn let me get an oracle Ooh. let me get an oracle for you give me an oracle for capricorn we have the starborn wanting to flip out the flame and the one um it could be like a twin flame connection um or it's not over with you guys it's not over it's just the beginning really and this is the one the one that you guys are connected so i'm not seeing this relationship be over but the current energy something happened in regards to the full moon where i feel like you feel blocked off and we have the temple you're just chilling in your temple uh, focusing on your body focusing on your home meditating chilling you know you're you're blocked off you're trying to focus on whatever 
it is that you need to do Capricorn, all right? So that's what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna shuffle a bit and I'm gonna get three cards for you. Knight of Pentacles. Judgment. The Devil. Um, I feel like you're trying to move away possibly like from some some negative attachment what is this devil what is this devil here clarify the devil for Aquarius someone who's breadcrumbing you Someone who's not really giving you what you deserve. Clarify the uh, double for Aquarius. We have the three of swords. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to heal and move, move on from something. You want to, you know, you want to have, I mean, there is a transformation happening here. And, but in the future, I feel like this person could be trying to communicate with you or... You're tempted to communicate with this person, but I don't see you feeling good about it. You know, you're still not feeling good about it. You need to heal from it. They're, they're not going to make you feel good. Not going to make you feel good with that three of swords. Okay? That This person's crying. Their heart is stabbed with their thoughts because this person is not making you feel good. They're not, like, they're, they're not making your thoughts happy. So, fuck them. The star, you need to move on. Focus on the future. That Knight of Pentacles, take practical steps one day at a time to move towards your goals, towards your future, okay? Okay, this person can fuck off because I feel like you're going to transform and you're going to have a glow up here and this person, then this person's going to be sad without you. Aquarius, um, give me an oracle for Aquarius. We have the seed, planting seeds, and this is you here, Aquarius, so you are stepping into your fullness. This situation is transforming you so you can live in your best light, so you can live in your fullness, so you can live as your highest self, okay? The seed, okay?
You've planted the seeds for yourself. Now you're aligning with your harvest. And growing into your harvest. Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. I'm going to shuffle a bit and see what wants to come out for you. The Eight of Cups is wanting to come out. Um, health, healthy detachment is the Eight of Cups. Mastering your emotions, mastering the, mastering the karma of your emotions, okay? Um, creating karma with how you feel and what you're wanting to create okay but this is detaching from something that was confusing for you or just was not healthy okay so you're walking towards what you actually want here while creating healthy detachment the three of pentacles you're definitely wanting to work on something okay create something and uh, this is people wanting to work with you as well people people admiring you and wanting to work with you and this is success success to your efforts look at that we have 33 creation the empress is all about harvest and expansion and growth and things manifesting in your reality so in the future whatever you're working on and creating right now pisces is going to grow and expand it's going to give birth it's going to give life this could be um actual children or just some, something that you're creating a project a business you know um relationships flourishing give me one more card for pisces give me one more card for pisces We have the two of cups. So I see you connecting to um, a lover. This is a divine union, a divine partnership. Um, and this is alchemy at its finest. These are two, you know, different things coming together and creating harmony. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, um, you know, it's different different personalities coming together to create something beautiful um oof. um this is your energy here you're you're transforming and awakening into um into a divine union here okay i see um you know marriage fertility growth happiness um you're coming together with with someone here or something um, that you're working on, that you're manifesting. And this is a healthy relationship because you've mastered um, your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts. Give me an oracle for Pisces, please. We have Libra, Taurus energy here with the Empress divine feminine energy give me an oracle for Pisces give me an oracle for Pisces Okay, we have the warrior coming out. 
you're a warrior you persevere through a lot um and we have the creator okay it talks about you know a long a long journey a tough journey but there is a diamond here okay this is like uh you're sitting on money you're very abundant with this energy you're creating um you're creating a solid foundation but also a solid like solid protection solid boundaries in a way that i'm getting like no one would will be able to fuck with you and what you have with that warrior energy okay and this is a lot of rainbow energy this is blessings you're blessed and you're also divinely protected and guided and god is guiding you and your energy in this relationship or whatever you're connecting to um right now pisces okay so that's what i have for you um that's what i have for you pisces